Confused? You, you went to New York to find Peter? You were hellbent on finding Peter, and, and, and now you're dragging your feet. What happened? Did Valentin get in your head? No, he's, no, he's not in my head. Okay. No. Well, he's not without guilt, right? I mean, he did more than anyone to shape Peter into the man he became. And, and he does regret his actions when Peter was a baby. He's as motivated as I am to make amends, protect the people we love. And so if he's all in, what has you dragging your feet? You said you would do whatever it took to bring him to justice. Well, I meant that. But when I said those things, I couldn't know where the hunt would lead me or what it might, might cost when I got there. Jason, please, I, I can't talk about this with you. You can't talk to me. How soon before you think you're going to be talking to the cops? I'm thinking of the boys. Jake, Aiden, Cam, Elizabeth, they need you. So whatever you're mixed up in, I can help if you just tell me what's going on. If I tell you, I'll make you responsible too. Okay, I'm the one pursuing this. I accept the risk. Okay, the truth is I've been wanting to tell you pretty much since the beginning because I trust you and I know you would understand. Peter August is dead. Finn caught Peter on the roof. There was a helicopter circling above. Peter had a vial of the antidote that was keeping Chase alive. He wouldn't give it to Finn. Instead, he threw it off the roof and turned around to go back downstairs and Finn just lost it. He pushed Peter down the stairs. And when I got to the stairwell, Peter was lying on the ground, bleeding, no pulse. Finn wanted to confess, but Chase would have died if Finn hadn't been around to save him. So we did the only thing we could. You got rid of the body. We thought about telling a million times. Not because we feel guilty. Peter August was a monster. And God forgive me, I feel no remorse for what happened to him. But Maxie, Maxie, I feel terrible that she's terrified that Peter's out there and might come back. But if we go to the police and we confess, at the very least, there's going to be an investigation. Yeah, I mean, the fact that you guys initially covered up what happened, that might work against you. And Finn has Violet to think of, and I have my boys, and we still don't know what happened to Maxie's baby. I mean, obviously, she's not with Peter, but she's out there somewhere. Where's Peter's body? Helena's lab. In the sub-basement. There's a freezer. Peter's inside. We located Peter's helicopter pilot in New York. We hoped that they would lead us to Peter or the baby or both. And? I mean, any news on the baby at least? Not Peter. Well, I figured you didn't have any news on Peter because you said you didn't want to find him. Right. Um, as regards the baby, the, the pilot had very little to offer before we arrested him other than the fact that the original plan was to pick up Maxie the baby and the kidnapper, but that plan fell through. Mm -hmm. I was told the police have cell phone records suggesting that the fake nurse met with somebody in the woods. Was it the pilot? Did she give the baby to him? No. No, if, if he knew where she was, he would have given her up in a heartbeat to mitigate the trouble he's in. The irony is that if he had picked Peter up, he would be dead by now, because we both know Peter doesn't like loose ends. Not landing was the best thing that ever happened to that pilot. I suppose. So he was denied clearance to land, and he was circling, and he saw Peter on the roof. But Peter wasn't alone up there.